Hi friends, it's Carrie the Desert Mermaid. I have a um, Goodwill haul and I have some unboxing to do. And I am getting ready to go to Buffalo tomorrow for the holidays to go visit the kids. Joni, I can't wait. So I got my holiday hat on. And this is courtesy of my soon-to-be new sister-in-law, Jen. She is Miss Creativity, so she made me this one. I, whoops, there goes one of them. She, I asked her for like a little leopard skin hat thing. So, cause you know, <laughs> but anyway, lovely to see everybody. It's the holiday times, busy, busy times. I know it's busy for all of you. I hope that you are having the most wonderful, joyous holiday season. I know I am. So very excited getting ready i gotta finish packing my suitcase uh so i want to do hurry up and do a video before i leave just so i could say hi and merry christmas and happy holidays to all my friends and happy hanukkah and kwanzaa and whichever holiday you celebrate i hope it is one of the best ones for you ever i know this was a, uh, you know every year can be like a fun crazy year but for me it's just what you make of it, right? I mean, you can have a crazy year and then you have the most wonderful things come out of things. Sometimes it's hard to find it or to uh, feel like that, but you know what? It's okay. <laughs> so, fabulous, exciting year. And let's get to some stuff here. I just knocked the box over. So the items that I got today are things that I've got from Facebook, things that I got from whatnot. Um, I've got some stuff from Goodwill and I've got a lovely, I wanna show you what I got from Mattel. It's fabulous. <laughs> so let's get to this, okay? I'm gonna start off with the smaller guy. And this must be from a whatnot. It is. Oh, this is kind of fun. This will be kind of fun here. So again, if you're not a whatnot person, it's okay. You don't have to be. If you are a whatnot person, you come to see my shows. I mean, my shows do go also on YouTube and I'm so sorry, but because my iPad is messed up, I'm not able to answer people on YouTube at this point. I'm so sorry, my friends. Um, but Anyway, I, um, oh my gosh, I totally lose my train of thought every time. Anyway, on whatnot, what I try to do after my show is raid another show. So literally raiding on whatnot is you take the people in your show and you and them go to another person's show. And I either try to do like some of my really good friends in whatnot, or I try to look for people that are newer or only have like a few people in their show and let's give them an opportunity to do some business, right? So to me, whatnot is full of, let's do uh, pay it forwards, right? That's how I feel anyway. So whenever I rate a show, oh, I can, I, and I know everybody's like, oh, you don't have to, but I either like to tip the uh, person or I like to try to buy something from them because they're just fabulous, you know? I mean, and again, if I feel like if I can give them a tip, then, you know, maybe I have a few other people that'll jump on with me and give them a tip and stuff. So it's always pretty fabulous. You know, I don't know. But anyway, let's open this guy up. Oh, I'm going to get my scissors. This is a fabulous little thing right here. Now, I have something that's going to accompany this when I sell it, if I can find it. <laughs> it's in here somewhere. Look at this, you guys. Virginia Slim Compact. You've come a long way, baby. I love that so much. The sentiment alone is fabulous. And look, it's never even been used. And it's a light up. You just have to uh, insert the batteries or put some batteries in there, and it's a light-up compact. That's pretty fabulous. This must have been some kind of giveaway when you uh, have the, you know, when you smoke the cigarettes. So, I, amazing, amazing, amazing. 
Okay, let's see. We're going to grab this. Doodly doodly do. And this, let's see who this is from. Oh, this is from Peace of Mine. She is a newer seller on whatnot. Oh my gosh, wait till you see these. And again, this is the funny part. You guys know, you've been watching, if you watch some of these crazy videos, I forget half the time what's in my boxes. So it's not only a surprise for you, it's a surprise for me. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> but these, oh boy. So... My, we have an affinity for things circus. And this lovely gal, I'm trying not to crinkle too much, although I do like crinkle paper and ASMR. Look at that, my friends. She had those beautiful 60s frosted circus glasses so i've got a set of six i'm just going to show you the one but anyway i can't even stand how much i love these we so a while ago before we moved to vegas i was um helping oh it's a whole crazy story but anyway there was this woman that needed they needed help cleaning her home out and they were just giving her stuff away that is where I found my first set of circus posters. They were just going to throw them out. And I'm like, oh, no, you don't. So I took those circus posters, and that's how we started our decor of circus. And then slowly we've been collecting things over the past few years. So these are just one nice addition to our circus collection. I mean, I now, we must have at least 10 posters. Oh, they're just the colors, the they're so beautiful. And now, especially with the circuses basically just about being gone, um, I think this is just something fabulous to collect. Now, I'm sure, how much did I buy these for? Let me tell you how much I bought these for. $25 I paid for these. So I, you know what? I'm just going to give you an estimation of what I think I would, these would sell for. These would sell for at least 60 to 75 if you ask me. Now I'm not, I don't check all my prices on eBay solds. I know that's what a lot of resellers do. Whenever I look for the prices of items, I go between eBay, Etsy, um, all, all the different selling sites because again, the value of these, for certain things there's like, you know, value, okay? Jewelry, gold, they have certain values that are absolutely positive. Most of these other things, I feel, go by what someone is going to pay for it. So when I look between Etsy and Poshmark and all these other sites, eBay, I, I, circ I look at all of them and I like to look about in the middle. And that's usually about where I price my items. So whenever I look something up, I don't do the eBay thing. I know everybody else likes to do it, but I like to see what everybody is pricing it for. And again, I'm a freaking rebel. You know that. <laughs> I don't like to do what everybody else does because there's no guarantee on the price of some of these items, right? Again, it's what somebody is willing to pay for it. So that's just my thought. That's my thought. But anyway, let me move these to the side very carefully because I do not want those to break. You stay there, my friend. Don't move. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Okay, here's a small package. Let's see who... Oh, I think I know who this is from. Let's see. No, I don't know who this is from. Okay, let's see what we did here. I don't know if I... We're going to find out in a second. I didn't open every... I opened all the boxes, but I did not open the bags. So let's take a look at this little bag and see what we got in here. Okay. Oh. Let's see. Yes, this is something I purchased. Oh, I know what this is. This is from Hope. 
This is another one from Whatnot. This is my fabulous um, Flippin' Serendipity. What a sweetheart. And she was selling these little tiny purses. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> I'm going to give it to Joni for Christmas. So she has a teeny tiny little purse to carry around. Isn't it so cute? It would literally fit like a little lipstick. Oh, she put some ornaments in here for me, that little stinker. Thank you, Hope, you doll. So anyway, I can't wait to give this to Joni. That's going to be, that's, it's exciting to me. I can tell you that. Look at this. I got something from Pop Rocket. Look at, look at this cute bag. That is adorable. I wonder where she got that. I'm going to have to ask her. Pop Rocket is another one of my buddies from, um, she's from Whatnot. She's a sweetheart. She's a toy seller. Let's see. Oh, these, yep, I bought some items from her. What did I get? I just thought these were cute. It's a baby SpongeBob. <laughs> I just thought these were funny. Baby SpongeBob and baby Squidward. Oh my gosh. My son likes these things. My poor, oh my gosh, my kids. Poor Justin, because he's the one that lives here. So anytime I go thrifting and I find little goofy things, his room is so full of goofy things. <laughs> I.e. these guys. <gasps> oh, that's so funny. Okay, good. Good. That's perfect. I also got a lovely Christmas card from someone in North Carolina. Let's take a peek. Let's see who this is from. You know, unfortunately, I did not do Christmas cards this year. I do them like every other year. You know, it's crazy. But every other year, Christmas cards go out. Oh, Lisa. Lisa Winter Park. She just sent me a thank you. Okay. Well, that's nice. Thank you, Lisa Winter Park. I appreciate a cute little card. It's like candy canes. So anyway, thank you, sweetheart. All right. This is another little what -notter. And oh my gosh. Okay. So another adorable pair. Beantown Twins Vintage. They're from Boston. Their accents are so cute. I can't even stand it. I got to meet Jeanette here in Las Vegas. She was here uh, a few months ago. And I got to meet her. And she... Oh! <laughs> She sent me Boston baked beans. She is the sweetest thing ever. We just had such a good time together. I'm like, man, if you lived here in Vegas, we would be like best friends, lady, because she's a sweetheart. She is a sweetheart, sweetheart, mixed sweetheart. And I got, uh, I, she raided me and then I raided her because she's, she's a sweetheart. So, and I got these for my daughter. Shh, don't tell her. Oh, look at them. My daughter loves the Annalise. So whenever I can get them, I try to get them for my daughter. She's going to love that. So we're flying to Buffalo, taking Southwest. And luckily, you can get two bags, right? Because as I look around... <laughs> I'm going to have a bag full of stuff for Megan, Matt, and Joni, and maybe Tristan. And I don't even know because I just, I just buy stuff throughout the year. And then, you know, Merry Christmas, right? That's what I do. That's what I do. Anyway, let's take a look. I actually got two from her. Let's take that away from here. Oh, I like her. I like her bags. I like these bubble bags. They're really nice. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh. Look at her. Isn't she adorable? No, I'm not sure what. Oh, that's, I don't know what that is. But look at how cute she is. So, yeah, so those are for my daughter for Christmas. Her husband doesn't love them, but she does. 
<laughs> Sounds familiar. Sounds familiar. Oh my gosh, my daughter, I can't wait. So when I get to Buffalo, I'm going to do a little mini tour of her home because she made it so beautiful for the holidays. So stay tuned. That video will be coming up at some point. Plus, I want to make sure everybody gets a nice little view of our Joni. Okay, here is... I don't know what I got. Ooh, something fun. Who knows? Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> See, again. What did you get? Who knows? Oh, my gosh. My daughter's going to lose her mind. <laughs> Okay, I know this is so crazy, right? Do you see this doll? These are from the 80s. My grandmother bought one of these dolls for Megan when she was a toddler. My daughter loved this doll so much. Her name was Toddy. So now I got a Toddy for Megan for Joni. So Joni's going to have her own toddy. Who knows if she's going to even like it because they're not the cutest dolls. But look at that. <laughs> toddy. Megan loved it. She carried that doll around until she was five, six years old or whatever. And then I don't know if we moved one time and she disappeared or whatever happened. But Joni, <laughs> it's like Joni loves toddy. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Oh my gosh, I can't even stand it. <laughs> it's like uh, so many of these things. Oh my gosh, do your kids ever like, are they ever not your kids? Mine are not. So apparently I still think my kids are little babies and children, <laughs> which I know they're not. But I get so many things that are just reminiscent. So, who, you know, I know they're going to be like, mom, stop it. Stop, stop, stop. So... But anyway, oh my gosh, Toddy. Oh my gosh, Toddy. That is fabulous. <laughs> I love it. Okay. We're going to go to Goodwill next, and then we've got two more boxes over here. So, oh my gosh. And you guys, I swear I'm going to get the reading channel back up and get that uh, book out of here because I said that I'm going to give that book away that I was reading out of. So that is part of my plans for the new year. I'm hoping to do a few different things. So I'm still doing whatnot, but I think I'm cutting down to one night a week. I'm doing knickknacks, right? Um, through, it's in the district and it's through, you know, uh, it's Crazy Lamp Lady site. So I'm um, actually, I've got some beautiful things that I'm going to be putting in there. Facebook groups, that quirky groovy, I'm going to, I'm hoping to, you know, work work. Oh my gosh. It is work actually. I'm planning on putting more items in there. So I've got some plans for myself. So I've got to cut back on whatnot because honestly of all the things, whatnot takes up the most time. I love it because I love being able to chat with people, but I figure if I cut it to my Tuesday shows are fun, but I don't do very well on them. So I'm going to try to combine Monday into the auction and we'll play some games after the auction is over. That's what I feel like we're going to do. So I want to do my auctions and then that. So Monday nights are going to be long. So I'm sticking to Mondays and it's going to be called Monday Fun Day. So I hope that you come and join me on Mondays in uh, starting in the new year. And I'm still doing the same time, 4.55. And that 4.55 Pacific, which is... 7.55 or 8 o'clock Eastern because I figure that's a decent time to hit everybody across the country. So the reason I was talking about the reading channel is I found this book and I almost, <laughs> it's an interesting book, my friends. Ideal Marriage, It's Physiology and Technique. This is the book that doctors give to their patients it has the unqualified endorsement of the medical profession. Now, what the heck are they talking about, right? So I read the inside cover. This is the one book on sexual life that has received the unqualified approval of the medical profession and the lay public alike. It is complete. 
it is explicit, it is authoritative. I might be reading a few excerpts of this in my next what to not. Nothing over the top. I'm not going to get crazy and whatever, but I'm sure I, oh my goodness. Okay. For instance, what? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be having a fit when I read some of this stuff. I can already see. Ideal marriage. Is it, what is, this is supposedly quotes for the ideal marriage. Let me see this because if that's what they're saying, ooh, I'm going to get hot. Marriage must continually vanquish a monster that devours everything. The monster of habit. Good fortune doth befall a girl through a husband. He's a pearl. Oh boy. Okay. We're going to have some fun with this book. I can already feel it. Whew. You know how you read those old things on um, how to be like the perfect housewife. And it's like, change your clothes before your husband gets home and make sure that you're absolutely beautiful and the house is spotless and this and that and blah, 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 blah. And this was all obviously before women started going to work. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The first time that I was married, I, my ex-husband, not a, not the nicest person. He, uh, his expectation was there were women jobs and men jobs and nothing in the house had anything to do with the man. It doesn't fly. <laughs> it does not fly by me, especially when someone was unemployed and someone else was working two jobs and then having to take care of kids. We're going to say, I don't agree with that stuff. So anyway, let's move along. So these are some items that I got from Goodwill. I did a, it was a shopping trip I did with Sonny and his mother-in-law, Mama Dola. So, and I feel to, I haven't been able to get this uh, video done because we've been prepping all week to, you know, go back to Buffalo. So anyway, little crazy things, little crazy things. If one of my favorite phrases is the love bug. So when I was at the G-dub, So I've been acquiring some love bug items because these are going to be my new giveaways and my whatnot. So if you come to whatnot, stay tuned for a love bug vase giveaway. I got that. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. <laughs> love bug pajama pants because you know we love wearing pajamas on whatnot. It's one of my favorite things. And I highly encourage you to wear your pajamas. And then, look at this. Look at this purse. Isn't this fabulous? This is called the Tiniest Tiger. I was like, are you kidding me? I love this. And then inside him is, guess what? Another love bug. <laughs> So I've got three love bugs to, to give away. And then this purse will be coming up. I'm not sure where it'll be up for sale, but it will be up for sale somewhere. So I paid $6 for this. And I looked up this brand and I couldn't really necessarily find this exact purse, but I think these go for about $20, $25. So it's cute. And then what did I say, right? Circus, look at this. Isn't that amazing? This is actually, uh, let's see, what year is this from? This is from the um, circus. I don't, let me see if I can see a year. I was trying to see if I could find a year on here. I don't see a year. Isn't that interesting? But it's from uh, Burnham and Bailey Circus and... So it's a cool mug, tiger head, and you flip the top and drink your drink. How amazing is this? I've never seen one of these. I was very excited about that. 
again, I may be doing some circus sales on a page because I do have extra, extra circus items. So, all right, let's see what else we got. Oh, I thought this was really pretty. Badgley Mishka Home. And it looks like it's like a log, right? But it has the texture of like burlap. So very interesting little butter dish. I just thought that was something kind of fun. And I've never really, I mean, I heard of uh, Mishka, but I didn't know they did butter dishes. And then look at this very sweet, uh oh, don't tell me you're chippy. Oh, it's a little bit chippy, darn it. But look at this frame. See, there's a little bit of chippy right down here. No, right over here in a leaf. Darn it. But this was like a dollar. I just thought that's so pretty. Like, I know frames are not a big deal, but I, I was going to, um, which I still am doing, I swear. I'm not going to be the person that says I'm doing something and I'm not. I want to put like a vintage, um, I'm going to try to do some things for uh, Valentine's Day. I didn't get to do it for Christmas, ay, ay, ay. but I'm going to try to do some stuff for either Valentine's or just interesting uh, pictures going into some of these frames. So we'll see what happens with that. And then, look at this, olive green enamel bowl. Isn't that fabulous? Like I've seen these enamel bowls, like, I, and you know it's newer, it's not an old bowl, but it's just absolutely beautiful. I've never seen the olive green. I thought that was like amazing. And again, some of the, like this thing I think I got for like just about $2. So some of these, these are some of the things that I like to put on whatnot. You know, I mean, they're, they're interesting, they're nice, they're pretty. And then I could put it on there, get a decent price. You know, it doesn't have to be a ton of money. But olive green, I'm telling you, that is it for the bags. Now, I'm going to do this guy last. He's going last. So one of the other things that I got in this box here. So there was a girl that was doing $25 boxes of vintage items, right? Was it 25, I think? I'm trying to remember how much it was, but it was, it was like a, or maybe it was like $40 for 15 vintage items, pieces of clothing, etc. So we're going to see, look at how cute that is. It's a scarf clip and look at all the ways that you could do your scarf. Oh my gosh, that's fabulous. I know not a lot of people love the scarves and the scarf clips anymore, but just to have that little booklet, that's pretty amazing. I like that. Oh, this is pretty. Wow. That's in pretty decent shape. I mean, there's one little spot on the back here, but that's it. That's what's on there. Beaded, pretty. This is from Leonard. I don't know. <laughs> Leonard somebody. But what a pretty, pretty bag. And you know, it's nice. Look at the nice frame. There's no, uh, there's no damage to the frame or anything. That's actually a pretty nice bag right there. I like it. Perfect. Okay, let's see what we get in here. Oh my gosh, she oh, she loaded this box up. Holy cow. Look at this. Oh, I have never seen such a big envelope purse. Wow. It's double snapped and look at the interior. Oh my gosh, this is fabulous. And it comes with its own little change purse. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, that is a beauty. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe it. This alone to me, <laughs> this is, oh my gosh. That is amazing. I can't even believe this. I wish I would have got more lots from this girl. And then look at this little nice guy. Slides up. 
and then you open this one this way, right? This is one is from Etra. I don't know what that is, Etra. Hmm. Very nice. I don't think it's leather, but it it's pretty. It feels pretty good. Hmm. Oh, look at this. Where where am I? Where is the start of it? It's a jacket. What era would you say this is from? This to me is 90s. I'm going to say 90s on this one. It has shoulder pads. And then look at the tag. If you can see that. So that's pretty fun. I like it. Oh, what a cute little top. Oh, look at that. Now, that's the back. This is the front. Oh, that's gorgeous. This is called From Bridesmaids, Birmingham, Alabama. And this is silk. That's beautiful. That would be beautiful for the summer, you know. Oh, look at this gorgeous blue. Nice wool skirt. This is screaming uh, 80s to me. The wool skirts in this length. Now, if you guys think it's something else, let me know. This is a Nordstrom and it's wool. Wow. That's a beauty. Also, you got this in the front, right? This to me was a big 80s deal. Having those pleats in the front. They were not my favorite, man. If you had any kind of poochy belly, mm -mm. didn't work very well. Oh, look at this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh you guys. Hello, 60s. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. With the empire and with that bow on the back, it's a gown. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Let me see if there's any tags on the inside. Wow, this is nice. This has, I don't know if this has the pads in the armpit area so that you don't sweat on the dress. Wow, right? I don't see any tag in here. So this could have been made specifically. Oh, wait. No, that's for that. Yeah, this was made for somebody. This was made for someone. This was tailored for a specific person. I bet for a wedding or something. But Or prom. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. This was a pretty good deal. Pretty. Oh, look at this baby. Here's another Hello 80s. Look at that. <laughs> It's fabulous. Look at that neckline. Let's look at the tag. Solo from San Francisco. Oh my gosh. That is pretty fabulous. And it's also a gown. I know we're so close. You're not getting the best look at these items. And I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Wait till you see what's coming. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is more like 80s business dress attire. That's nice. That's that's really nice. This is, and it has the belt, the wider belt. Let's take a look at this tag. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is newer. It says made in China, which is really crazy, but it's rayon. Hmm. Would you guys think that this was a newer dress? Maybe, but it feels like 80s to me because I used to wear dresses like that. That was when I was a, um, I used to work at the IRS in Buffalo and I wore dresses all the time to work and a lot of them were like rayon and some other really fabulous uh, polyesters, but I can't, oh my gosh, what was the name of it? I don't know. I can't think. Oh, this looks like a robe. Look at this nice little smoking jacket. 
or pajamas. It's like iridescent here. Let me see if I can take a look, do this better. So here's this. And look at the bottom. Peekaboo. This one is from Dawn Joy Fashions, dry clean only. That's pretty sassy. Pretty, oh, no, this is a separate thing. But they look the same. I wonder if this goes with it, like pajamas. So here's the pants. And then it has this adorable little top. That is really cute. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I have to send this girl a note because she did fabulous. Oh, look at this. 60s? I'm going to say 60s. Sweater with the pearls on it. And so this is uh, silk, acrylic, and angora. And this is by Jean Nicole, made in Hong Kong. It feels really nice, too. Look at that. Yes, I don't mind any opinions on clothing. If you think that I'm off the year, please let me know. Oh, my gosh, look at this. Isn't that adorable? It's a skirt. Very nice. Tiny, tiny, tiny little waist. Are you a homemader? I think this is a homemader. Look at look inside there. Like that to me equals homemade. But it's really fabulous. They did a great job. You did a great job, person. She packed this box. I can't even believe this. This is a really good deal. Here's another. Oh, it's like a summer. A summer dress. Sleeveless. I was wearing stuff like this in the 90s to early 2000s. There you go. That's usually how I judge the clothing, by what I was wearing. Because <laughs> that works for me. Oh, my gosh. This. Wow, this is heavy. Look at, oh, it's a nice large size, too. There's so many pieces of clothes that weren't good for plus-size ladies back in the day. So this, and it's a pull-on. I don't see any zipper anywhere. No zipper on either side, but look at this. Oh, <gasps> what? Look. Oh, my gosh. It's pants. It's a pantsuit. Like, it's a one-piecer. Oh, my gosh. That's fabulous. This is fabulous. Wow. That's amazing. Very heavy and amazing. Okay. Man, this is the box that doesn't stop giving. <laughs> oh, sucky, sucky. I'm going to say 70s. Look at this. And this is the old polyester as well. But look at that nice little collar. Right? So it's another dress. But this. That's nice. And then look at the details on the front. Yeah, that's total 70s. Total 70s. That's pretty fabulous. Man, she did really good on this box, don't you think? Oh, look at this raw silk. We've got some raw silk, friends. That's lovely. So it's another dress. Short sleeve, raw silk, and look, it's got like the, um, the Watcham Cumberbund effect right there. And again, I don't, I don't see a tag. Now listen, this doesn't mean that it's not tagged. 
it's got the uh, shoulder pads. I'm thinking this is going to be uh, 90s again. That's my feeling. We know all this floral was 90s. Holy cow. Special time. This, look at this blouse. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Oh my gosh. Seriously. It was like, um, what was it, $40 plus shipping for 15 pieces of stuff. And I, this is more than 15. She loaded me up. Oh, look at that. Oh, you guys, oh my gosh. This is an oldie. Wait, do you see what it is? It's a leotard. Wow. Wow. And this is how you know it's older. Buttons. Button crotch. So I don't know. I would think this is almost 60s. Looking at that label, what do you think? What do you think? Especially for button, right? Because most of the leotards I had when I was in dance, there was nothing. You just slid it on and good luck. That's it, right? But wow. Nice. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Handmade leather. That's what it says right there. If you, you can't really see it. It's hard to see it. Genuine leather made in Brazil. But look at how cute this little bag is. If it was just a little bigger to hold a phone, it'd be perfect. But that's nice. Nice. All leather. Oh my goodness gracious alive. Somebody handmade, hand knit a bag. How adorable is that? And look at the chain they use. I'm going to say 60s because this chain, this chain is giving me 60s vibe. And, um, and the zipper. Look at that zipper. She's an older gal. Oh my gosh. Now I am not a clothing expert. I just, know, I mean, I do research my clothing. So I know ish, you know, like there's some styles that you just know when it's from because it's very apparent. But, you know, things like this, it's just the chain and that zipper. This has got to be 60s. That's my feeling. But, oh, my gosh, knit your own purse. Okay. Oh, here we go. 1970s. I know because I had one of these in the 70s. <laughs> yes. Your disco belt with the scales. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And look at the big buckle. Oh my gosh, that is. Can you build? This is like the. This box is amazing. It's amazing. She did fabulous. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's jewelry in here still. Let's go through this jewelry. Holy smokes. What a sweetheart. Here's a locket. I think it's, a, yeah. Oh, this is a 12 karat gold filled. Maybe it's not a locket. It looks like it, but. A little pendant with that little Southwest detail on it and gold filled. Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? <laughs> what are these? It's earrings. <laughs> Look at what you see. It says howdy. <laughs> They're earrings. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. And the box says sterling, but I don't know if they are or not. I'll have to look at them better, but oh my gosh. Howdy, friends. <laughs> oh, that is so excellent. Oh, look at this. This is a necklace watch, I believe. I could be wrong. 
No, it's just, oh, no. It's like either a little compact. You could put some perfume or something in there. Pictures. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. I was looking to see if there's any name on here. And I like that it's this. It's not silver, but it looks pretty darn nice. Okay, it's got a tangle. We'll figure that out later. We'll figure that out later, guys. Oh, this is cool. Nice necklace. Yeah, this is uh, vintage on the verge of antique, and you could tell by the metal work. That's some older stuff. And these are glass beads. These are metal. These little armadillo-looking guys, and the rest is glass. That's pretty nice. That is... I, I'm... I'm in shock of all this stuff. Wow. Let me see. Here's another little locket with an Art Deco style on it, but I don't believe it is Art Deco. It just has the styling. It's Toledo wear. That's really cute. And I like her little bags. What a good job. This person's name is Eclectically Me Studio. And I think she's got an Etsy shop. I think, I don't know if she's either clearing out or she's trying to make room for more stuff. But this stuff is pretty, gosh darn it, fabulous. And then here's a pair of rhinestone clip-ons. It, it keeps going. <laughs> it keeps going. Man, I found this on that quirky vintage, quirky groovy vintage page that she was just selling boxes. And it's amazing. I might have to see if she'll sell more of these boxes because holy smokes, look at that adorable bracelet. Multicolored daisies. That is fabulous. Wow. She's got very good taste, very good taste in the stuff that she has. Oh, no, I'm going to love this. I already know. <gasps> Multi-strand necklace with sugared beads. And it looks like hamburgers. Don't they look like little hamburgers on there? <gasps> I love it. And this is made in Japan. Yep. I love it. Wow, this girl speaks my language. She speaks my language. Look at this. Oh my gosh. You guys, come on. This, this with its matching clip-ons. Now they're not signed, but they sure are beautiful. That's just absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Look at this. I don't think this is silver, but it almost looks it. Wait a minute. Are you kidding me? She sent me a, a sterling Mexico ring. Are you kidding me right now? Wow. 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 You don't get sterling when you get mixed boxes like this. She, she I'm like becoming speechless now because of uh, the fabulousness of this. And oh my gosh, this is a three-piece set. Holy cow. I'm going to have to go send her a note. Is this? It's not marked. I was thinking maybe uh, Germany or something. It has one little broken edge here, but we'll see if we can fix that. Look at this. This is the pattern. So this is the bracelet, but this may not work out very well. It's a little broken, but I don't even care. The rest of the stuff is amazing. And then clip-on domes. Like they're little domed guys. And then the necklace, the choker. Let me see if it says anything. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. I am so impressed. 
I am so impressed. You never, that, that was very impressive. Holy cow. Okay. Last thing. So I might have a problem <laughs> ordering things on Mattel because they have been, you know, so I love the Monster High stuff. And again, I collect things for Joni. Sure you do. Um, anyway, they, you know, Mattel stopped doing the Monster Highs, right? And oops, there goes the hat almost. So they started doing all these fabulous, there we go, all these fabulous redos of the Monster High dolls and these special collector, oh, I got to save that booklet, these special collector um, Monster Highs. So I've been getting some of them for Joni. Isn't that? Interesting. Holy cow. Look at this collector doll. It's called Off White Monster High. And let's take her box off. Oh my gosh, you guys. If you want to know how much I paid, I don't remember. The good thing about um, Mattel is they have that Klarna where you can do like a payment plan. So I do like four payments. Look at this doll. Look at her. Look at her outfit. And then she comes. Can you see her little bag over here? It's a purse. And I don't know what else is in there. Earrings or something. No, she's got her earrings on. Is that the mo <gasps> Isn't she absolutely, absolutely stunning? Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. She's beautiful. <sighs> and this is uh, the Frankenstein one. Obviously, I know my monster highs very well. <laughs> But look at her and look at her hair. Yes. So I was trying to get some of these collector dolls for Joni for her to save for the future because things like this, these are very limited edition and they will go for some cash. So holy cow, she's a beauty. Oh, she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. I have a whole bunch somewhere else in the house. Like I have them hidden all over my house and <laughs> whatever. It's like, um, so I've been getting these. Oh my gosh, you're beautiful. You are so beautiful. This certifies that your Monster High X off white doll. Materialized through the collaboration, collaborative efforts of the designers and artists at Mattel. Yeah. So we're going to save these for our Joni and let her have some collector stuff, right? Some Monster Highs. In the beginning, when they first started bringing out the Monster High collector dolls, because they had that payment plan, I was buying two. So one for Joni, one for Grammy, right? This one, unfortunately, I only got one because after a while, I'm like, okay, I can't afford to do this. So who are these really for? These are for the baby. So... This is going to be for her. Who knows? She can either keep them or she can sell them at some point and get herself into college, right? But, oh my gosh, I am so impressed with that. I am so impressed with that. We're going to put her lid back on her and she's going to go in a safe spot. The fun part is going to be, how am I going to get all these to Joni? <laughs> so, and her mother's going to be like, Mom, stop it. But... Come on, it's beautiful, right? So, okay, my friends, that is it for this time around. That is all that I got in the last few weeks. Um, I, again, I'm leaving for Buffalo tomorrow to go spend the holidays with, the, with Joni and my kids and everybody. It's going to be a fabulous time. 
I hope that you guys get to enjoy your holidays with your family. Hold them dear, right? I mean, what's the most important thing in this world but family, friends, relationships? Um, that's how it feels to me. I don't know. Hold your dear ones close, right? So anyway, on that note, you guys have a very wonderful holiday season. I'll see you next year. And again, I may be doing some quick clips while I'm out of town. So you'll get to see, uh, I, I want to show uh, Joni, of course, because, oh my gosh, pff, ridiculously adorable. And my daughter's fabulous decorating. So on that note, you guys take care. Love you guys to pieces. I'll see you in, I'll see you soon. Let's say that. We'll see you soon. Take care.